stop by to visit my baby sis, you know, see what you're up to. It's good to see you. Um, come on in. I've been uh, meaning to call you, but it's, I've just been so busy with my new job. It's, it's been kind of hectic. Oh, that's okay, sis. But I am a little pissed off you didn't tell me about the new boyfriend in your life. How did you know about it? Wait a minute, did you talk to Stacy? Did I mention Stacy's name? And the fact of the matter is, you're supposed to be the one to tell me about the new boyfriend in your life. There's no way in hell I should be the last one to find out about this. Okay, oh, okay. Thomas, I'm sorry. I've just... Let me go put on some clothes and, and we can talk about it, okay? Yeah, okay. As I was saying, he, uh... Can I have something to drink, please, before we start this conversation? What would you like? Anything is fine. the guy in the pictures, huh? Yes, he is. We love each other very much. He makes me very happy. Yeah. Let's hope he feels the same way that you do. Thomas, I didn't tell you about this because I knew this would be your reaction. You need to get over the fact that I'm not a little girl anymore, and I don't need your protection every second. I can take care of myself. Is it because he's black? I mean, seriously, what's the problem? Now you know I don't have a problem with black people, so don't even go there. It's just that I can't see how somebody who cannot manage their own life correctly can be a positive influence in your life. I'm just looking out for you. Thomas, I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. But I will tell you this. Someone has been lying to you about the type of man DeMarcus is. He's a good guy. Look. All I know is that Dad made me promise that no matter what, I would always look after my sisters. And that's what I intend to do. Tuesdays and Thursdays, but during our lunch period. So that's what you're saying. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up? Go ahead, I'll talk to you now. So the other night, Cynthia mentioned something about you and her having a little talk. But she never finished telling me about it. So... So, you want to know if it was about you? Mm, yeah. Marcus, all I did was tell that girl something I wish somebody had warned me about before I started messing with you. Yeah, and what's that, Tiana? When it's all said and done and the romance is gone, you toss your women away like garbage. And you know it's true because that's exactly what you did to me. Okay, see, first of all, you lying. Because that's not what happened. As soon as we got together, you became this possessive, controlling person that I didn't want to be with no more. I looked you dead in your face. And I told you it was over. Then you went on a rampage and tore my house. Look, Tiana, it is what it is. So you flaunt this white girl all up in my face and I'm not supposed to say anything about it? Please. You lucky I didn't tell her about your crazy ass brother and what he's gonna say when he finds out you're dating. Hey, hey, look, look, look. My brother don't have no say so on who I date, all right? Besides, he already knows about her. Does he know she's white? Then none of your damn business, Tiana! I tell Lanny what I tell him! See, that's what I'm talking about. You ain't even man enough to be real about who you're sleeping with, Marcus. You need to grow up. 
How you gonna call this girl your woman and be too scared to tell your own flesh and blood about her? Last time I checked, that's my problem, not yours. That's why I can't stand messy ass females. Messy? You haven't seen messy yet, sweetheart. But I can show you better than I can tell you. Just wait. over there with your girlfriend because you took hella long to answer the phone. Yeah, whatever. Look, why you keep calling me about every single penny my son needs? Yeah, you aren't getting child support payments. Hell, I barely got enough to live off of. Marcus, you a damn square. Your ass always gonna have a job. And as long as you do, you paying for everything my baby wants. So shut that bullshit up. What do you do? Look, I buy him birthday presents. All right, I send him Christmas presents. And you still give me a hard time about him coming out here to see me. What you fail to realize is, just because you my baby mom don't give you the right to dip your hands in my pockets. Now you must be crazy. Must be crazy. Whatever, Marcus. You over there huffing and puffing, trying to sound all hard like your brother? But the problem is, you're not Orlandis Johnson. Your name is Demarcus Johnson. So you know what that means? What? You the nigga picking up the check. Hello? The queen. Look. I want you both to know that this is not a work suspension or even a correction of any sort. This is, is a verbal warning as to what my actions might be should this situation get out of hand. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Excuse me. Um, what situation? Uh, actually, I, I Mr. Johnson, let's just say that it has been brought to my attention that the two of you are involved in an intimate relationship outside of work. Yes, um, we have been, but we've been trying really hard not to let it affect our jobs. Oh, I can tell. You both have been very professional in your teaching efforts and keeping the emphasis on the kids, as well as staying off the radar. But my overall concern is not so much the possible negative effect that this could have on your work. My concern is the permanent effect that this could have on the rest of this staff as well as this school. Look. I worked diligently with both the mayor of Oakland as well as the unified school district to get my kids the books that they need as well as deserve. I've also worked very closely with young, eager teachers such as yourselves to clean up the bad images that this school once had. I am not willing to allow all that to be torn down simply because two of my teachers want to have a roll in the head. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Now, with all that being said, you've both done an excellent job at, uh, in your teaching efforts, and I've heard nothing but positive feedback from both the students as well as the teachers. So. I want you to continue to do the great job that you've been doing this semester. But I also want you to be very, very responsible 
regarding this situation that you both got yourselves into. Are there any questions? I'll let you get back to your lunch break. Shanson.